YouTube! How y'all doing today? It's Mike, Pratt Family Homestead. Friday vlog day. Bright and early this morning, dark outside, but it is going to be a beautiful sunrise. Today at the school, the kids have donuts with dad. So I am up way too early, and we're going to go have us some donuts at school. All right, you guys excited? Yeah! You probably can't even see them, it's so dark, but I can tell it's going to be a beautiful sunrise. If I can get a couple seconds of footage of the sunrise before uh, we actually get to the school, it should look pretty cool. It is not going to come out on film. That sky is beautiful. Reds and oranges. Not even any yellows. Just reds and oranges. But I can tell it's not going to come out on film. Darn. Alright. Donuts with Dad is done. Huge success kids loved having me at school that was pretty cool uh, got to walk each of them to their class they thought that was pretty cool I should have taken some picture of video there though because faith was covered head to toe in chocolate donut <laughs> uh, faith was very nice and went and cleaned grace up for me uh, so it's one of those rare days Jenny got to sleep in today hopefully she's still sleeping I'm gonna run home do barn chores uh, before I even go inside, we'll see what uh, uh, if she's still sleeping. Hopefully she is. Hopefully Jenny can sleep in really late today. That'd be awesome because she never gets to sleep in super late. So, dude, I gotta tell you, there's an unbelievable amount of poop in your stall that I'm cleaning up this morning. It is, come here, look at me. Talk to me. It's ridiculous. Don't don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Why is there so much poop in here? Don't walk away when I'm talking to you. I guess he wanted to walk away. My goat friends aren't being so sassy this morning, are ya? Yeah, Vega. There's them babies. We still got a couple weathers here for sale, guys. Actually, we might have more than just weathers. <clears throat> We've been talking about a lot of stuff lately. <clears throat> yeah. You're freezer camp, dude. I'm done feeding you. I know, guys. I've been saying that for months and months and months, haven't I? And he still hasn't gone to freezer camp. He is such a sweetheart, aren't you? Yes, you are a sweetheart. Stop being a sweetheart. Hi. We think she's pregnant. Pretty sure uh, Danny's pregnant over there. And um, we think Danny might be pregnant on purpose. That might be one of the ones that we put her with the boys. Uh, but there could be some accidental pregnancies here too as the boys keep getting out a lot. Hi there, duck. Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with me? Come on, ducks. Out of the coop. Oh, see, I goofed. I let the goats out before I got the ducks out of the coop. And now all the goats want to go in the coop. Oh, I messed up. All right, let's fix it. Got a new addition here. Some quail. I'm not going to talk about them too much. We should have a video on them this weekend. Jenny and I will come out later and move these guys outside. Well, guy and three girls. Our friends, uh, we got these in Virginia, Homesteaders of America. Uh, from AJ Farms. Also on YouTube, they're Homestead Revolution. Our Homestead Evolution. Um... Unfortunately, pig butcher day, the first four go in in five days-ish, and four days later, the other six go. Well, I take that back. The other five, the other five go, and then one more goes the following day. Uh, but we don't have enough feed to last till then. Ugh, I have to go buy some more pig feed. She is still asleep. That's good. I hope she sleeps till lunchtime or later if she wants. She definitely deserves it. Oh, good morning, sunshine. Good morning. <clears throat> I was telling people I was hoping you were going to make it till lunch. No, I've been awake for a while. This really did not want to get up. I know. I was hoping you'd stay your butt in bed and get some good sleep. Mm. It's not even all that late. It's not. I, get, I, I mean, it's not early, but it's no. not late. I woke up a little before nine and I was like, 
I did not sleep as long as I thought I would, but sure beats that 5.30 alarm. <laughs> <laughs> we had two freezes this week. So as you can tell, the tomato plants are done. Tomatoes are done. Cabbages are good. I'm going to get some more cabbage out of the ground today. Start get a big crock full of... Um, uh, I hear you over there. Get a big crock of uh, sauerkraut going this weekend. Peas. The peas have survived a very hard frost, actually. I got down to about 23 degrees or so, and they are looking good. I love it. I got this one strung up a little more. This one broke or... Oh no, this is a weed I think I had thrown out of here or something. Oh, that's actually a leftover tomato plant. But we got a lot of peas. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, piggies. Loving some sunflowers. <laughs> Wednesday. The bigger tamworths. Go to butcher. Sunday, the following Sunday, uh, the red wattles go to butcher. One of the red wattles will actually go Monday to a different butcher. Our friends, uh, part time permies, uh, have requested a red wattle and they'd like it to go to a, a different butcher that'll cut it the way they want it cut. And so I think, I'm not going to swear this, but I think if you keep an eye on the part time permies channel, that there could be some uh, uh, charcuterie, did I say that right? Uh, videos coming from them, preparing the pork and all that stuff. So keep an eye on part-time permits for that stuff. They'll be getting one of these red wattles. These tamworths are over 300 pounds. I love these tamworths. All right, while we're down here at the pigs, you can see all the potato plants that we planted, I don't know, back in August, that the cold died off, the cold killed them. So we need to dig those up. And I had completely forgot, we gotta see what they're like, but there are still, well, where are they? Or did we get them all? I thought we had left a couple potato plants that we did not dig up. I'll have to check it out, but look, Volunteer lettuce, volunteer lettuce, volunteer lettuce, a new volunteer lettuce. All these lettuces survived. This one's bolting, so we'll let it go to seed if it does. This one's going to do the same thing. Tons of volunteer lettuces out here. This must be from feeding the pigs here last year. It's my only, I don't know, that's kind of cool. But I really could have sworn... There was some potato plants left. Maybe there aren't. Are they in here? Maybe there's not. Well, when I get this all tilled up and all that, then we'll know for sure. But I'm maybe we did get all the potato plants. Uh, the ones that we planted back in the spring. These ones. Let's take some of those up and see if there's see if we got baby potatoes under there. Oh yeah. Some cute baby taters. We'll get these dug up. They still use them, no problem. Interestingly enough, if you remember, I think this row was old, nasty, small potatoes that I think were like two years old, and Jenny and TJ planted them. And this is the row that did the best. This row was like some smaller potatoes that we dug up earlier in the year, and that's what this... Uh, both these rows were old nasty potatoes, so so just because you find if you find that potato back behind your fridge or back behind your storage unit that looks absolutely awful, and you're like, there's no way this thing will grow. I think it will. The potatoes that they put in the ground here to grow these plants were very old, nasty looking, and they planted them and they grew. That's awesome. I should say on a little side note, these did not finish growing because what was planted was small and all that. These didn't finish growing because as, as far as a fall crop, we got them in the ground pretty late. So 
as you can tell, the tops are all still green and everything. They hadn't had a chance to die off or anything, um, uh, that, which would have indicated that it was done. So uh, they're, they're small just because they ran out of growing time. All right, came back around, threw them a bunch of corn stalks, some Indian corn, I harvested some more Indian corn. I think I'll take the Indian corn inside, see if Jenny wants to unwrap the ears with me. I need to get that. Quite hard for you guys to see. We're gonna save save seed off of that one. And one or two more of those. Over the next couple days, we'll get all these brought up, feed them to the pigs. Getting a lot of that cleared out over there. I've really enjoyed all the corn and sunflowers this year and how much, uh, like the pigs haven't had too much corn itself but the corn stalks they have been loving. And that, I left some smaller, you can see them in there, I left some smaller cobs, sm smaller ears on there, and they are enjoying that at the moment. I'm gonna miss having these piggies here. Here's a lot of the Indian corn that we've got this year already. Um, a lot of it looks pretty cool. It's drying nice. Uh, we're just holding on to it. Almost all this we're going to save seed from and plant next year. And then maybe we'll have, have enough planted to really, really start doing something with it. Some of the popcorn that we harvested. We'll be trying that out soon, as soon as we think it's dry enough. Hey, Jenny. What? Whoa, you're behind me. How'd that happen? Hey, did you see I brought in some corn to shuck? I see that. This is some of the Indian corn. You want to shuck it and see what it's like? Sure. I was just telling people, you like love this. It's addicting. Like you have one and you're like, what's the next one like? I remember when we were out there, I was like, okay, I'm just going to do one more. I got to get moving on some other stuff. Like five later, I was like, okay, I'm finally done. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You and I have done that a couple times. And you know, it's the same thing with sweet corn because you open it and it's, it's still exciting because you want to see the germination rate and how pretty right. it is. But with the Indian corn, all the different colors and everything, it's exciting. So I got... I don't know what I got, five or six, seven, eight stocks here? Something? Cobs. Cobs? Yeah, the pigs, I gave the stocks to the pigs. <gasps> There's a spider on the counter. Look what you brought in. You better... All right, let's do this. Pick one. That's the big one. You want the big one? Uh, actually, I was going to go with this one. All right. Well, this one actually is, doesn't feel all that big. Oh, but it's pretty. It's, that yeah. one's got a glassy look. It's almost like a glass gem. Mm -hmm. And this is Wade's Indian corn. Um, we have some a couple different sources of this corn this year. JM at the Nut House sent us a bunch, right? Yeah. And we had a bunch. Was it Save Seed or did we sell it no, in packages? No, it's still from Baker Creek. Ba it was Baker Creeks. Um, I don't think th what JM sent us at the Nut House. I don't think that was Baker Creek. It was. Oh, it was. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, but that's beautiful. These are really dry too. Yeah, they're hard. Those ones are kind of similar. This one has like a reddish tint to it. I don't know if it comes yeah, out on video. True. We need to get some of these up, up. We need to get some of these hung up for some decoration. I know. You know, one more thing to do. I'll add it to the list. Right. We'll see Ooh. how quick we get through that. That one's interesting. Yeah. This one's a lot smaller than I anticipated. And there's still some more. Uh, there's still some more cobs, some more ears of corn out there too. Oh, oh yeah, you can feel how loose these are. These have really dried. Oh yeah. It's almost yeah, like a loose tooth. Cooking. What do you got, babe? I don't know. It's kind of kicking my butt. Those are some huge kernels. Those are big. Oh, I'm losing. Oh, they're dry. All right, so here's the deal. The horse has not played nice with this uh, uh, this netting that we put over the, the hay bale. 
And he's got it, it fell down in a way that I'm not able to manually lift it up like I usually do. So I don't know if you can see it back there. I got the tractor all rigged up. But let's go take a look at that. We're gonna try and pick this up somewhat, the netting at least, and try and get this all bunched back up so that he's not stepping on it and wasting a ton of hay right here. Uh, with these nets, if, uh, if we have a net on here, this bale will last him four or five weeks, at least uh, in warmer weather. Uh, without the bale, without the netting on there, he will have this thing wasted in two weeks easily. So uh, we've really been enjoying the net, worth it. We paid quite a bit for it, I think, but worth it. Let's go see what's gonna happen here. So I got that sort of kind of rigged, hopefully it stays. I got that sort of kind of rigged, hopefully it stays. I'm not real confident in my rope here, so I added a, uh, a toe strap, so if this, snaps i don't there's no way it's really getting back to me i don't think so but i've been wrong plenty of times let's fire this thing up see what happens it's coming up i don't know if you can see it i don't know if it's coming for what i don't know if it's going to do what i want it to do but i'm also going slow i don't want to rip that board out up there It's doing what I wanted to do. Oh, the rope broke on the. Oh, I think the. I think it came untied. Let me go redo it. All right, it did not break. It just slipped off the. Uh, it just slipped off the bag. But I bet already. Look, already it's doing more what I wanted to do. It's getting it more bunched back up. But we're gonna pull it down. And do it some more. All right, I failed to record it coming back up, but I got it up. about as high as it'll go. If I actually want to get it up more, I am going to need to take the rope off and tie it down lower. But I think for my purposes right now, this will be fine for now. I will eventually have to change it. Uh, we've never had a problem. We, we've been stringing it up. That's the whole reason I had the pulleys up there was to pull the bag a little bit each time he eats you know, uh, as he's eating, we pull the bag a little more, a little more. This bale fell apart kind of crazy inside the bag, and that's why we're doing this. But I think that's pretty good for right now. I think I can move on. The only problem I might have is when I untie it, it all falls back down. But we'll see. How you doing, bub? All right, the bag did fall just a little. The other thing I did from the beginning is I moved that chain back this way so that it would go more straight up and not into this uh, panel. Uh, I'm, I feel a little bit better about this uh, for now. Like I said, I, I'm going to have to come back once I eat some more. I'm going to have to tie that rope through here, down here more, uh, so I can get farther up. This is a huge net. This thing's huge. Yeah, you. How you doing? Uh huh. Hi. How are you? Oh, you got some flies, huh? Sun's coming out. It's actually getting kind of nice out here. I mean, the video kind of looks cruddy, I guess, but it's feeling pretty good out here. Yeah, you got some stuff in your hair there, but you enjoying the sun? You sunbathing, huh? All right, that's done. What, what's, what can I go do next? You okay? Bobby. Itchy, you're all red. Mm, got itchies. My baby. Oh, thank you for kissing. <laughs> all right, the kids are home for school. We gotta get going. We actually got a uh, go drop TJ off at his dad's and actually due to the Virginia trip we have to drop TJ off for the next two weekends in a row we do how was school guys good god I love some kids that are enthusiastic about school they did <laughs> not get that from me <laughs> I heard you now 
Anyway. It's a pizza kind of night. Pizza kind of night. Middle of tomatoes. I'm gonna get going on some sauerkraut tonight, maybe. I am gonna get going on some mixed, fermented mixed veggies before that stuff goes bad. And I'm getting a hug. And get sauerkraut. You want me to make some sauerkraut? I'm gonna make it tonight, dude. Or right, well, I'm hopefully gonna get started on it. It started raining, so the outside stuff is kind of on hold. It's supposed to rain the rest of the night and um, tomorrow. So, Grace. How was school today? Grace, look at me. What did we do this morning? Well, everybody already knows what we did. But what did you have at school this morning? With I had a chocolate donut. With chocolate frosting. And it was all over your face. How's your shoulder, bud? He heard it on the stairs. Oh, now it's hurting. Oh, poor bud. You going to tell me what you're working on? I'm working on... A Halloween project for school on Halloween. We're making goodie bags for your classmates, yep. huh? And you're practicing writing your name on all the labels. Let's see. That one was mine. Here's one. Here's a really good one. If my camera will focus. There it is. That's a really good one. Let's see. Here's another really good one. Doing good job, Peanut. Oh, this is a very good one. That no. one's okay. That was before we kind of got, a, got really another good. lesson. That one is very good. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Keep writing. You okay? Yeah. I have it. What is this one? Pan. Not pan. Pop. Pop. Thank you. A pot is on top of a cat. A cat is on top of a dog. Good job. Alright. We're going to wrap this up tonight, I think. Grace has been electing to do homework other than instead of quiet free time. Haven't you, darling? Been doing some reading and stuff? You're hiding. Okay. Uh, Jenny's getting a batch of tomatoes going. Tomatoes. Glad we saved them from the freeze. The garden looks like junk. I Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that we went and got them, but um, I like tomatoes. Jane does not like tomatoes. But I do like salsa, and the tomatoes go in the salsa, so it's worth it. That's true. You do like salsa. It's like one of the few like tomato things you like. Yeah. And ketchup. Oh, but I do like tomato sauce, and I'll be doing that tomorrow. Yes. In fact, you might be doing a video about it. I will be. You will be. Good night, guys. Have a good night. Good night. Or day. You're probably watching. Whatever you're day. doing. Whatever you're doing. Have a good one. Have a good one.